What's up YouTube? Good morning. It is currently Friday, October something. I think it's the 26th, 2018. And as you can see behind me and from the last few clips, I've packed up my car. You just saw that first clip of my home office. Today is a big day, finally. I have kept this quiet for about two months now, three months. I've been on the hunt for a new office. I've been going around all over Irvine, all over Costa Mesa, everywhere in Orange County, and finally, I found an office that worked out for what I was looking for. This video is gonna be about kind of my business, showing you an office tour, giving you an idea of what we're doing. I'm actually meeting my first, well, I'm meeting my client there, but the first client to ever go to the new office. My guys are at the house right now, working we're gonna pretty much work through the whole day and then tomorrow we're gonna pack up everything so all the desks all the chairs um, I just have two chairs and a desk just to have something for now I'm going there right now to meet the internet guy and oh there's so much stuff back there and the locksmith so let's go So one thing I haven't shown is my car. I changed it a ton, which I'll come back to in a couple of days for a different video, but this is it. This is the new headquarters for my social media marketing company. Have like a, it's like a really nice showroom. We're gonna have like a retail space for all my license plate frames and some other stuff along with like a waiting room, some couches. Got a window here which goes to my office. And then you have the main, I call this the bullpen, where all my guys will work. And I'll actually open this up so you can see. So you really get a feeling of how much natural light comes in here. We have floor to ceiling windows pretty much throughout the whole office. And this is kind of another view. Really nice spot. We have three offices pretty much, or three rooms I should say. This was a kitchen when I first visited here and they took out all the stuff that was in here. They were like a construction company. So I might make this like a photo studio for our products, run like a, a backdrop right here or do a shelf with like a fridge and you know, like a coffee maker or something like that. Nothing too crazy, we'll get like some shelves up there and I don't know, do like a rug or something. This office is 600 square feet. They're still doing a little bit of construction in here. They left these here, I don't want these so they're gonna come take them. But this is gonna be the podcast room where we have our podcast and also my office. So we'll have a sound recording room in here. For sure, yeah, cause I can email you over a breakdown for like business consultation, social media, like all those topics and stuff down. And then once we see it, I can figure out if I have to go in and change anything. All set. All set? Yep. Cool. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have a good weekend. Thanks, man. You too. Thank you. See ya. Currently having a meeting with one of my clients right now. This is like the official desk until we get all the furniture in here tomorrow. So back to work for a little bit. The three packages that we offer and then I can print that. <laughs> yeah. Damn, this is crazy. Yeah. We haven't eaten all day. Parker's been working at the office, so I'm some Chick-fil-A. in the U-Haul right now. Got everything we need. The whole back of this thing is completely full. I got Parker back there. And we're on the way to the office right now. And 
here you go. This is it. So podcast table is all set up. My office area set up right here. I just ordered a table off of Amazon to go right here and the monitor is gonna sit back another foot and a half um, just so I'm not slammed against the monitor. And then it'll also be for some of my die cast cars and also storage. This is kind of like my little area right here where I'll be working, uh, getting all my deals done, doing sales and everything. It's nice because you have a good view of my car. This is my main area where I'll be getting all my work done. This monitor will be pushed back a foot and have more space because right now it's just really cluttered and all the wires are everywhere but this is just you know this is like day three officially we had to set up that table it took forever but yeah that's pretty much it for now good morning it is currently I think October 31st it is Halloween today which I didn't even care about but I got here around 6 30 this morning been working non-stop and uh, it's nice because my the view of my car let me go ahead and polarize that the view of my car is awesome because I have this parking spot we actually have this whole entire parking lot because there's maybe two people here every day but the coolest thing is is that my office is my desk is right there I have everything open right now and it's nice because I can just sit there and well I'll show you just get to enjoy that view all day long and my employee Parker is about to pick up a really nice car which we'll feature in a video very soon but I brought over uh, a couple things to the office this morning Gary V's put on display once again we reorganized brought over one of my posters to hang up in the waiting room and uh, that's about it for now. M3 build list on here, which this is all old stuff. I have to update that. So I had a Instagram story the other day that I put up where a bunch of people asked me questions. I'm gonna answer those right now. First of all, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you for the support. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch my videos. I know that it's not as many, as much car stuff as it used to be, but you know, I am focusing on a new lifestyle of business, being a business owner and uh, priorities come first, which YouTube is a huge part of my life, but not as big as my social media company. So I just need some time to build that. We're hiring, we're getting the right people in here. It's just a matter of time until I can go back to YouTube full time like I was doing. But with that being said, it's insane to see this. You see how many subscribers that is right there? I am nine away from 100,000 subscribers. If you're watching this, I may have 100,000 right now. Thank you so much. I will make a proper 100,000 subscriber video at some point. But without further ado, let's. Without further ado, let's. Without further ado, without further ado, let's answer these questions. I'm trying to do like a YouTube video on a tour of my office. What should I talk about in the office reveal video? Sorry. Swipe up. See all responses. A good amount of views. A good amount of responses. Go ahead and click these. And I'm gonna swipe on. First question is from Matt Wingle underscore thirteen. What's next for the company? Scaling the business. Just growing the company overall. Uh, hiring the right people. Building the team. Right now, I have two guys who are pretty much full time. Uh, three, including myself, which I'm a full time salesman. I actually no longer do any posting. Um, when I first started the company, I was doing all the Instagram, Facebook uh, captions, writing them, posting them. I no longer do any of them besides like two or three I have like my big high-end clients that I do myself the rest of the time I focus on sales Alexis sage underscore <laughs> we've been talking for a bit talk about what furniture is going in the colors and what each room is for Let's go I'm taking the whole tripod with me uh, first things first is this is going to be the bullpen which this is where all my team goes we will have hopefully four people in here at some point. All these guys will be running efficiently. That's a waiting room right there. I don't know, this is honestly a room that we don't really use unless we like to take a nap. And this is my office right here. Essentially this is like my office here cut off. Big Nate vlogs, how do you feel about your success? I feel, feel great. One thing that I will be honest with is that taxes are not fun to deal with. The first year of my business, I did not know how to do them. And I didn't have my payroll set up the right way. So about a year in, I had to go through CPA, I had to go through my taxes, I had to go through switching my company from an LLC to an S Corp. I made myself an employee of the company and there were so many things I had to learn. Those are the only things that not, they hold me back mentally only because they're Stressful, but if you let them hold you back, it's gonna just slow you down. So I've learned to take them head on and learn everything about them. And now I pretty much feel fully educated on all that crap that I don't like. Was that even about the success? I feel great, I feel awesome. I told people to ask me questions about my business and they said, what's a fun daily driver? <laughs> There's so many cars. How do you manage to stay calm in struggling situations? This is where I shine. I have told myself that my number one quote in life is basically staying calm in negative situations or in any situation. I think the more calm that you can stay, 
the better your outcome of making a decision will be. I've made decisions on emotions, being impulsive, uh, ego, and all that just really doesn't work out for the long run. My keyword in life is longevity of everything I do. Uh, I don't like short-term stuff. You know, social media has been a foundation of my life for 10 years now, and this is what I wanna do. How do I manage to stay calm? Really taking time to absorb everything that comes in front of you, whether it's a bad situation or a good opportunity or you know something major in life, whatever. The best thing to do is control your, your emotions and your outcome will be 10 times better than what it would be if you acted on impulsiveness. Why you took the step to get into an office as opposed to stepping down last time? From Bas Vujerin. So I was using my house as an office for six months. Before that, I rented an office above a gym. The main reason why I left that office is because we didn't have any AC. Myself and my guys were struggling because we were above a gym, we were on the side where the sun was all day long and there was no insulation. It was to the point where we were sweating all day. We were there for four or five months and then once the summer hit we just couldn't do it so we moved into my house and I didn't want to get into an office until I found the right one because I signed a long-term lease here this is my office it's a property of mine it's not like a friend hooking me up like last time this is actually my office making a decision like that I couldn't just go home, work there for a couple of days and get an office. I had to make a decision based on, okay, where am I gonna be for the next like couple of years? I looked at four other offices and this one was like, let's go, I love this one. You can do it, that's a good username. Talk about your experience, both good and bad while building your company. The good part of it is you get to have freedom. I can wear this outfit every day. I can come in at 6.30 a.m. or 10 a.m. I can work from home, I can work from here, I can work from a coffee shop. You can make a lot of money, you have a lot of choices in life that you can do. I mean, you can be so creative, can bring people in, can do so much while building a business and being a business owner. Um, the bad part is, is definitely money management, learning how to manage the company. I went from working for somebody else to being a boss and a leader, so now I have people work under me. And self-discipline, the first six months I laid in bed and got super fat and just ate food, I worked from home in a bed. And that was the hardest part was getting up, going out and working, not just going for a drive, not just going out for whatever, physically actually getting up and working. When you work for yourself is hard because you don't have to. You can stay at home and do nothing but at a, at a certain point, you're gonna have to pay bills. So I think the bad part is, is learning self-discipline and being a leader, because it's not easy. Nick Drews, what this office has that other didn't. This office has air conditioning, a parking lot view of my car, three separate offices, not just one big room that's sweaty and above a gym. We have a private bathroom, which is much better than sharing one bathroom with 20 people. Floor to ceiling windows, has a coffee shop, five doors down, 13 minutes from my house. It has great lighting in here. It's easily accessible from the freeway and it has this really cool window to my office, which I don't know what it's for, but it's nice to have. I actually like that open. Shells underscore AA. Talk about how your favorite part of the office is a view of your car. It's true. When's the Lambo? You'll see. Talk about your plans for your business and how they're going to grow into that space. Closing more clients, offering more services. Now we do websites and SEO. We do graphic design now. Just growing the business, that's the plan. Just scaling the, I don't know, I don't know. I just wanna keep going, that's all. What are your three top fears in life? My dad died when I was young, so losing my mom is my biggest fear probably, which I've learned how to cope with a little bit. Um, it's a part of life, you just have to learn how to enjoy the moment. It is a fear, but it's not really like eating me up like it used to. My finger was like that the whole time. I don't really have a lot of fears, honestly. I don't really think about it too much because it's kind of a waste of time. And if you have fears, you should face them head on. Like I used to be afraid of roller coasters. Not a lot, but to the point where I was like kind of freaked out and then I just went full in and it was fine. What kind of stats have you gathered over the years on social media marketing? Uh, a lot of people don't understand it. The biggest thing right now is the age demographic. The next 10 years of social media will be very hard for a lot of people. I think that by the time that the next decade passes, it will be an industry standard. And then at that point, the agencies will have a much better time getting clients or having people come to you directly. Right now, my biggest thing is educating people on the importance of social media and 85 to 90 percent doesn't understand it because they're too old or they just don't believe in it because I hired some 14 year old kid to do it and it didn't work out when you hire an agency that does it the right way you're gonna have big results come back damn that was that was a fire right there man I don't know how I'm gonna end the video but that was a good question talk about the cost of the startup and so this office um, cost about a thousand dollars to move into it's a thousand a month with a couple of bills included I haven't actually gotten 
30 days yet of what it's like to have an office here because you have to factor in the AC, the power, internet's pretty much a fixed price, and then the actual rent. This office is like around 1000 to 1300 a month on the high end. Um, I'm pretty conservative with everything and we're only here like five to 10 hours a day. One of the things that I felt was strange when I quit my nine to five is that when I first quit, I wanted to go like start a corporation and find a CPA and get an attorney and make a website and do social media, get business cards and get flyers and like 80% of that stuff doesn't matter. Like you don't have to have an LLC the first day you started your own career. You don't have to do that. Focus on, on creating, focus on your production rather than being all tied up in like, like all these things that don't make you money. Don't worry about that. Like. You can pay it later for certain things or you can get started doing things the right way when the time is right. And when I say the right way, you don't have to go off and do a bunch of illegal things and not pay your taxes. Just keep in mind that the main thing you want to focus on is your production. If you want to start your own business or company, focus on what you're bringing to people. Don't focus on making a flyer or like a brochure or your LLC or, you know, don't worry about that stuff. That'll get you so caught up and behind on trying to build a company that you're going to get lost in the process and not even start the company. Um, I'm doing product photos for one of our clients, uh, Modern Eye Style. How long have we had them? I think three months actually. Three months? No, two months, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're pretty, they're a pretty new client. Owner wanted to move more into personalized image of their Instagram, Facebook, all that. We do in-house photography. These ones are actually kind of cool. I really like them. So we just finished up a meeting and I'm actually gonna go head out to get some lunch for the guys and then I have to go do some stuff at the mailbox. Oh, my windows are open. Got a new steering wheel with the Alcantara. This is from Mashi Maro. And also, I got new pedals. So here's the home office. You can hear that it has a huge echo. This is where everything was before and then we transferred into the new office. Came here to grab some paperwork, hired a new guy, so I gotta send all of his paperwork into my CPA and payroll company. Have some posters I gotta get. Okay, cool, thank you. My light box is in there. All my prints in my car. I don't know where I'm gonna put the skateboard. The Fresh website is uh, from top to bottom, and then if you, well, you don't have anything you sell online, correct? You're just doing products in person? Sure, I understand. Um, well, the, the first thing I'd recommend is that we don't jump in too deep. I don't want you to be pulling money out of your pocket and having to spend a ton. Uh, what I recommend is that, obviously, the attention right now is on social media, so that needs to be taken care of right away. The second part of it is, if you're trying to build your website yourself now, I recommend that you have us redo everything. And basically, what it would be is just you giving us you know, a list of your services, some photos, and then we can take care of the rest. Then, when you have social media and you have a website, you can direct all your traffic to your website and everything is up to date. Once we do that, down the line, when you want to switch to an e-commerce website, we can discuss that. But as far as the pricing goes, you know, if you do a new website, you're looking at, and then if you end up doing the website with us, the social media is for the month, and that rate doesn't change since you bought a website with us. You're welcome. All right, bye. 26 minute phone call, worth every minute, new client signed. Just got a good old flame broiler, back to the office. Come on, just one more person, that's all I need. I just wanna see like these roll over. Oh, yeah, dude, finally. Oh my gosh. <laughs>